In this quick tutorial, I will show how you can separate shadows and highlights from an image so that they are in separate layers. The process will work on all kind of images, t-shirt, tumblers, blanket and whatnot. There are two methods to extract the shadows. First is using Photoshop action. It is easy and fast. Other one is a manual method. Let us first see the fastest method of using Photoshop actions. Select quick selection tool and select the sweatshirt image. Unlock the background layer and press Ctrl plus Shift plus J. And turn off the visibility of the underneath background layer. Select the shadow action and click on play. Adjust the level slider to bring out the shadows of the image. I will adjust the slider to show contrast between the saturated red color and the light red color. Click on OK. Here, I have the shadow layer separated into a new layer. Next, I will turn off the visibility of the shadow layer. Select the shirt layer and click on highlights action. I get the same prompt again, hit on continue. Again, I will adjust the sliders on the left this time. The idea is to adjust it to bring out more contrast in the t-shirt region. Once satisfied with the adjustment, hit on OK. Now, I have the highlights separated into a new layer. Both shadows and highlights are a new layer. To show them in effect, create a solid fill color and place it underneath the background layer. Change the color to anything you like. I leave it to blue. Next, turn on the shadow layer. Turn on the highlight layer as well. I need to reduce the opacity of the highlight layer to give it a better look. You may change color to produce different color sweatshirts. Let us now jump to the manual method of extracting the shadows and highlights. I'll be using this image for the manual process. First, unlock the background and make a selection of the t-shirt. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus J. Turn off the visibility of the underneath layer. Press Ctrl and left click on the RGB channel. This will make a selection on the canvas. Now on your keyboard, press Q to activate quick mask. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the selection. Now to bring out the levels, press Ctrl plus L. Now do the same drill as we did earlier. Adjust the slider and press OK. Now press Q again. Create a new layer. Go to Edit, Fill and fill black color. This is our shadow layer. Now to separate the highlight, select the t-shirt layer again while pressing Ctrl on your keyboard, press on the RGB channel. Next, press Q on your keyboard and then press Ctrl plus L to bring the levels. Adjust the sliders to bring out more contrast and click on OK. Press Q again. Now this is tricky part. Next press Ctrl plus J. Then pressing Ctrl on the keyboard, left click on the duplicated layer. Go to Edit, Fill and fill in white color. This is our highlight. Now our highlights and shadows are separated into a new layer. Hope you like this new technique. Uh, give us a thumbs up on our channel. You can go grab the Photoshop action from the link in the description. Watch the next video to learn how to create mockup template using the same method.